Hi everyone. So here we are going to discuss on how to create the Hangman game in Python as a part of today's discussion. So we'll be talking about Python, what exactly the Hangman game is, and then we'll be looking at the hands-on. All right, so as a part of the entire discussion, so you'll be having the discussion on the Python training for the sequence and the file operations. Then we'll be diving deeper into the functions and oops, then we'll be working with modules and how we can handle the exceptions. Then we will be working with sequence and file operations, then followed by the introduction to NumPy, data manipulation using pandas. Then we'll be talking about the data visualization using matplotlib, the GUI programming, and then we'll be talking about the development of the web maps and requesting the information by using plots. So Python, as we know, those who are not familiar with this, it's a high level interpreted language that was created by Manuson in 1989. And it is inspired by the favorite show, Flying Circus Creator Monty Python. And its general purpose, high level language, that we can go ahead and make use of with the easy syntax and dynamic semantics that we have that can be easily integrated with different components and solutions accordingly. Now, if we talk about the main features of Python and Python is designed such that we don't have to think of the code and we have to think less of the syntax. It is open source. That means Python is free for everyone to use. There is no licensing involved here. And Python can be written in one platform. It can be executed without any challenges in the other platforms, making the code sharing much easier for us to go ahead and make use of. And then Python allows the code of the other languages like C, C++ to be embedded into it so that these certain functions can be performed, making Python even more powerful. And the task and the memory management of Python is handled by and we can say internally, so we don't have to worry much about the same. And then it is having the support of huge number of libraries that we can do that we can use directly. So when we say huge number of libraries, that means here we have libraries like we have NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib for different activities that we can conduct, and then. We have the access to a direct or it is an object orientation, which helps break down the complex problems into the code and uh, can simply help in getting a bit rate. That's our solution to the same problem that has been generated. So there are almost all companies at different levels, starting from small to medium scale to even large enterprises. They all make use of Python. So YouTube video sharing services largely written in Python code. Google makes extensive use of Python in its web search systems. Dropbox simply codes both its servers and desktop client software primarily in Python. Raspberry Pi, which is a main tool used for IoT, it is designed in Python. And then we have BitTorrent, which is a peer-to-peer -peer sharing file system, began its life cycle as Python. NASA, and again, other, other analytical Aeronautical engineering components that they all are based on the Python language and then NSA uses Python for cryptography and intelligence analysis and Netflix and Yelp they both have documented the role of Python in this software infrastructure as well So now let's talk about the hangman game that we are going to create as we proceed further so hangman is basically a guessing game for one or more players. A player thinks of a word, phrase, or sentence, and guessing it by suggesting the letters by a certain number of guesses. And then we have the hangman program, which is going to randomly select a secret word for a player to guess from a list of words available. And then that is going to be created. All right, so let's get started. So for this hands-on, we are going to make use of our PyCharm ID, which is one of the most popular IDs that we can go ahead and make use of. So here, as a part of a demo application, we can create a new file. We can name this one as, let's say, hangman.py. So first of all, we are going to import random library, then 
from the word we are going to import words and then we will be having one other word.py file created in which we will be having the list of random words that we will be using as a reference now once we have the words available then we are going to import the other section like from the for example from the hangman visual that we are going to create we are going to import the lives for the visual dictionary and then from the other library we are going to import the string and here we can create a function by the name of get valid words where we are going to get the words from the libraries that we are going to make use of and for this we will be defining individual word by using the random dot library in case any library is not available then we can go ahead and install it like we have random but some libraries can be defined as a custom package that we'll be using that will be creating afterwards and then we can define while the word has the hyphen in word or there is a blank space in word created then we can define one more condition so here we can define word would be using the random library and a random word choice is going to be selected and then we can define what kind of element has to return so we can define return word dot upper and then we can create another function suppose as hangman now for this hangman we will be defining the word which is going to be let's say get valid words for specific words and we would be using the word slicer or you can say word individual letter where we can set the individual word and then we can define the alphabet which is going to be used for set for a given string dot a sky uppercase this is going to be string and then we can use the use letters keyword which is going to be map for set we can define how many lives they, they can be in a given game suppose as seven and then we can define while the length of the word is going to be mapped to suppose the word letter for example here we have word letter then we can define this one as zero and the lives should be zero then we can define print for example how many lives have been left you have lives and lives and you have use these letters in a game and letters are going to be mapped by using the join operation as well now from the word list we can go ahead and map the individual letter if letter in used letter in used letters else we can define for letter in word and we can print now if you want we can go ahead and print this in new line or we can go ahead and print this by default so here we can simply print the live visual dictionary that we have imported and then again we can define print so here we want to print the current word as a part of the gameplay which and through that we want to include again another space in between and then we want to join that by using word dot list 
and then we can define the user letter which is going to take the input from the user by using let's say message as guess a letter and we can convert that to uppercase by using the upper as an inbuilt method and then we can define the condition if user underscore letter in alphabet is going to be part of the use letters then we are going to define the use letters dot add for the user letter and again we can define a condition if user letter in word letter then we can define the use letters or let's say word letter dot remove and we can define the parameter as user letter and then we can print the statement and then we can define else the lives is going to be lives minus one and then we can simply print a simple message that your letter is not the word and we can define the exact letter by using user underscore letter and then we can define another condition for else if, if the user letter in use letters then we can define print suppose you want to print this in new line so here we can define you have already used this letter guess another one and then at last we can also define the else as a part of print statement that is not a valid letter and then we can and define the condition if the lives are set to zero lives visual dictionary lives and then we could define print so here we could define suppose you died sorry the word was and then we can include the word altogether and then we can define the method as of name Now this is going to need the access to the other files in terms of the words and once that is made available then this is going to ask users to enter the value and then they are going to be returned. All right then so we can all wrap it up for today everyone. A big thank you to you all for joining today's session and have a great day ahead.